Hello everybody, we are taking a look at Burnout Paradise for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Now this is one of those games that is available both as a digital download and an actual burnt disc. Now, what I love about this game is that they've taken the Burnout series in a new direction. Usually you, do, you just have your classic races, and if there's a big crash, if you burn out on the track, well then you get this big cool crash. Now. They've sort of made, tried to make it open world, sort of what Need for Speed did, with Need for Speed Underground and Need for Speed Underground 2, how you go open world, and you find your events, you drive to them. They did the same thing here, but I think this is executed um, executed much better than in Underground 2, that may very well just be because these are on the next-gen consoles. You start by getting a license for yourself, and the cool thing is that the picture on the license, you can take using a USB camera, so you can actually take a picture of yourself, to put into your virtual license, and that's very cool. And the way you upgrade your license is by winning races, you know, winning time trials, that sort of thing, and then as you win more challenges, win more events, you get go from Class D license to Class C license to Class B to Class A. And that works really well, and there's tons of different ways to play, you can just go smashing into things. The online works really well too, because basically you can have you and a bunch of your friends just driving around Paradise City, but you can invite all of your friends, so you have all of your friends around you driving around the city. It's really cool, especially when you try to take them down or try to crash into them. Now, there's other side quests such as, you know, knock out all the billboards or knock down all the yellow smash gates. And, I mean, there's really not much you can say. This is basically burnout, but open world. This is Need for Speed Underground 2, but with Burnout. This is taking Burnout and giving it the Need for Speed Underground formula. That's really all there is to it. There's not much more you can say. I mean, sure, there are jumps that you have to find, as I said, smash gates and billboards, and there are tons of ways. What I love is with the events, you have to drive to certain intersections. So, okay, I want to do a race, so I'm going to find this intersection. You drive to it, you hold down L2 and R2, or in the 360 case, both triggers and it'll start the event. It's really quick, it's seamless, especially online, it works really well too. And I mean, there's really not much to say. We're two and a half minutes in, and what can I say? This is a great package. It's only 20 bucks. There's an expansion, which I believe is another 10 bucks. I could be wrong about that. Don't take my word for the price of the expansion. I know that the core game by itself, for sure that, excuse me, I know for sure that's 20 bucks. And I've said it a million times, I'll say it again, what can I say? There's, It's a great package, it's such an attractive package. 20 bucks for all this content, it's really great. I'm giving Burnout Paradise a surprisingly ro- No, it's not surprising, it's Burnout, what am I talking about? Burnout Paradise, get it if you have a PS3 or 360, or even on the PC, get it. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. On the positive side, they've taken the underground formula by making it open world, the online works seamless, and it's only 20 bucks. On the negative side, the crashes are a lot less dramatic than they have been in previous games. And overall, it's just a racing game that has you driving to events. It can get pretty boring after a while. So that is my first take. This is going to be a completely unedited version of my reviews. Usually I you know, re-record my reviews over and over again. But this is my first take, and I'm going to stick with it, hence why I've been stuttering. Live review, 9 out of 10 for Burnout Paradise, and be sure to check out more at www.psbeyond.com.